It happens to every device over time. You may notice your Google TV streamer starts running slow. Maybe apps aren't working properly, or maybe it's not even turning on at all. So I put together four of the easiest methods to get your Google TV streamer running brand new again like it was just out of the box. I make weekly videos helping people like you save money on streaming services and learn how to optimize your devices. If you like this kind of content, the best way to support me is hitting that subscribe button right down below. So let's start with a soft reset. Now, typically our streaming devices, while they're plugged in, never actually turn off. They just go to sleep. So the first thing we want to try is something called a power cycle. And there's two ways to accomplish this. This involves turning off your device completely and unplugging it for five to 10 minutes, basically resetting it. Now this does not affect any of your data and it will not remove or ruin anything you have installed on your device. So to accomplish the soft reset, we have to go into settings. From here, scroll down until you find system, and then you'll want to go ahead and click the restart option. Now this is going to completely power cycle your device, turn it off, reset it, and that is the easiest method to do this. Let's try number two. Now, if you're unable to access your settings menu, you can try this. On your remote, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and press that power button just to turn off your device. Now, once it's pressed, we're not done. We want to completely unplug our device. Now, I like to do this for around five minutes. So just keep it unplugged, and when that five minutes is up, plug it back in and see if that fixed your problem. Now, if neither of those methods work to speed up your device or make it work like new again, that is where a hard reset comes in. Now, there are two different methods to do a hard reset. One, if you can actually access your device, and two, if you cannot access your device, and let's say it's not turning on or booting up properly, you can do the second one. Warning before you do this, this will wipe everything off your device, any third-party apps installed, any external data that you've put onto the memory will be completely wiped. Now this typically is pretty easy to reinstall and what this does is wipe your device and set it up like it is brand new out of the box again, typically solving any problems. Method one is actually pretty easy. You're gonna wanna head back into settings, go to all settings and scroll down until you find system. Then you wanna to go to this about option right here that my screen is almost hiding scroll down and you are going to find factory reset. Now this is obviously the easiest way to reset your device like new, but like I said, this does not always work because you do not always have access. So when you do this, it gives you one more warning, all your default settings, all data, all accounts, all files, and all downloaded apps will be reset and you have to re-download and re-log into everything. But this is a great way to wipe your device. Let's go into method number two if you're unable to do this step. So if your Google TV streamer is stuck and you're unable to log into it or move it, what you're gonna notice is this little button on the back here. Now, typically this is for pairing your remote, but if we hold this down for 14 seconds and hold it down long enough, it will do a complete factory reset of the device. So watch this. And you're gonna see the search for accessories option pop up first, but keep holding it down. You also might not see this. And now you're gonna see it go into factory data reset, and it's going to completely reset your device. Once you get that screen gone, you can now release it, and it should go back to that main menu for the first time. You can now see the erasing option pop up, and this just means all your data is being wiped. And just like that, you're at the main menu, ready to start using your device again. Now, hopefully one of these four options helped you out and made your device work like new again. If none of these helped, I recommend contacting Google and checking your warranty on the device. And if this video did help you, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support me or get one of our $2 memberships. See you guys later.